Today, today I'm going to show you how to do a 3.5 kg prime rib on bricks. Okay, I just cut through the bone here to make it easier to cut later. And what I did, I just cut it through there. That's normally the part that the butcher will cut off with the top part or the side, the fatty part. I'm just going to use a steel hook just to help me to turn it around because it's quite heavy. Here you can see my fire with two bricks that I just covered with tin fully make it a clean that the bricks is clean okay the important part here you can see i put it on the bricks with the bone side we've got two sides with bone both of the bone sides to the fire bone side to the fire for about the hour just watch it but the bones you can burn the bones that's not a problem. There's a bone and there's a bone. You can see, you can put a lot of heat there. After an hour, you can turn it. On the back side, you can see the, bur the bones did get a lot of heat. But that's not a problem. On that side also. We leave it on this side, the two sides, for about half an hour, 50 minutes on the one, and then we turn it around on the other side to get some heat. Here you can see, after that, we put it down again, and I pull it open. That's normally the side or the strip that the butcher cut off before uh, you buy a primer up. But I keep it on because that's a nice taster before the time and especially for the women and children. If they get hunger, hungry, they can have that or you can eat that for a snack or a piece of um, Dutch oven bread or pot bread. Use uh, 250 gram butter of half a lemon just as a dripping sauce. Okay, rem we remove the piece of cut off that the butcher normally cut off and I just slice it up for a tester or something for the hungry people around the fry or barbecue you can see that was perfect no problem with it just the the, the the one side where there was a lot of heat on you will see this is quite well done but for the kids and the women, that's normally what they want. And then we drip it with the butter and lemon. Then I'll start to cut the other piece out. See, this is all pieces that the butcher will cut off. You can also see I move coals right around the, the bricks also. I open up that side there. And I'm going to bend it open. But now you can see the form that you normally get out of a prime rib. <clears throat> 
Here you can see I bend it open and I've got coals on all sides. There's that cap that the butcher cut off. That will be right and ready within a few minutes. Remember, there's a lot of coals. You can see now all the coals around the, br the bricks. I turn it again, open it up, add some butter all over. You can see there I cut that piece off. There you can see nice and moisture nice and moist sorry with the lemon and butter and there's the final part the real primer up just add a piece of fat but you can see the moisture inside and it's done perfectly done on the open fire without any gadgets or temperature measurements or anything there you can see my bricks try it it's worth it especially when you've got time with family and friends enjoy it